will discuss the solutions to control hazards. Usually, programs consist of a considerable percentage of branch instructions, and hence control hazard or branch penalty is a factor which adversely affect the performance of pipeline processor. And eliminating control hazards or eliminating branch penalty completely is not possible, but we can try to minimize the branch penalty as much as possible. We know that the branch instructions can be either conditional or unconditional. For unconditional branch instruction, it's sure that the branch is to be taken, but what we do not know is the branch target. So if we can add a proper circuitry in an early stage of the pipeline in the fetch stage or at least in the decode stage by which the branch target can be computed as early as possible, then we will be able to reduce or we will be able to minimize the branch penalty caused by the unconditional branch instructions. But for conditional branch instructions, not only the branch target is required, we also need to check for a condition. And that condition checking or comparison is usually done by the time the instruction is executed or by the time the instruction is completed. Thus, minimizing branch penalty for conditional branch instructions is a bit more complex. Different systems use different schemes for reducing the branch penalty and one common scheme or one basic scheme used for reducing the branch penalty due to conditional branch instructions is branch prediction and speculative execution. In this branch prediction scheme, we predict that a branch will be taken or not and proceed in that predicted direction. We predict that a branch will be taken or not and proceed in that predicted direction on a speculative basis. This is called speculative execution because the instructions are executed before the processor is certain or sure that this is the correct execution order. And there are two ways of branch prediction scheme. One is static prediction and the other is dynamic branch prediction. In static branch prediction scheme, we statically predict that a branch will be taken or not. For example, suppose we execute a program by predicting that all the branches within that in program will not be taken. So whatever be the instruction, whether branch instruction or not, always we continue with the sequential order of execution with an assumption that always the branch will not be taken and this prediction may be correct or may not be correct. If the prediction is found to be correct by the time the instruction is executed or completed, then we continue with the normal sequential order. Otherwise, if the prediction is found to be wrong, then we need to flush the pipeline, refill the pipeline and there will be branch penalty. So it depends on the program. If the program is dominated with branch not taken instructions, then overall the branch penalty will be less, otherwise the branch penalty will be more. Similarly, we can execute a program by predicting that all the branches within that program will be taken. So whenever a branch instruction is encountered, the next instruction fetched in the pipeline will be from the target address. Here also the prediction may be correct or may not be correct. If the program is dominated with branch taken instructions, then overall the branch penalty will be less, otherwise branch penalty will be more. Also the prediction can be done based on the type of branch instruction and its usual behavior. For example, prediction can be done such that all backward branches will be taken and all forward branches will not be taken. Hence, prediction can be done in different ways, but always the prediction will be static. It will not change. The prediction decision for a given instruction remains the same every time that instruction is executed. Hence, it is called static prediction scheme.